you can now support this channel on Patreon. Warning, this video is for comedy purposes only and as such should not be taken too seriously. That moment when your footsteps sound more like someone sarcastically slow clapping. I mean, let's face it, you'd be the reject of your small village, walking along on your way to school, passing your neighbour who's outside and has just finished trimming his hedge, and all he thinks he's hearing is a slow, condescending clap at his obviously shit efforts to do a good job of trimming his hedge. When you slow it down, it becomes abundantly clear that this child has managed to almost spin his head around 180 fucking degrees. Take his hand! This has got my alarm bells ringing! CGI! Keeping your face in a perpetual state of strenuous aggression must be extremely difficult to maintain. Really? A bug? Looks more like a tiny snowman with an ice cream cone for a nose to me. <laughs> Come on, at least give it a good try. I do believe it's called fan service, and as a new fan of yours, thank you for your service. I'm also including in this sin removal what happens over the next fucking amazing 90 seconds, which for obvious reasons to those of you who've seen the movie, I can't put on YouTube without getting my metaphorical wrist slapped and ads removed from the video. <laughs> What's the point in attacking him here? By all accounts, it seems he had literally no clue who either of them were. They could have just left. I mean, I'm going purely on the information given to us during the scene, and why he'd suspect either of these two of having done anything at this stage, I have no idea. His cigar remains lit after being frozen over. <laughs> CG ew. If this was a fucking option from the start, then why not use it when escaping the vault instead of relying on the much slower flying, I'm guessing, fairy cat things to escape? These lines at the bottom of his face make it look less like a beard and more like a double or perhaps even a triple chin. So also nothing to do with you punching the guy as he received the news of the robbery? Giving yourself away before you attack, cliche. Hold on. I think I know this one. The human who becomes the owner of the Death Note can exchange for half of his or her life, get the eyeballs of a god of death which will enable his or her to see a human's name in remaining lifetime when looking through them. I've got to say, this armor makes it look a lot more like she has one giant single boob. 
And it's weird. Nope, they're clearly still locked up. Um, it may seem like a silly suggestion, but has anyone just considered fucking throwing a sheet over the crystals or maybe building large rooms over all of the deposits to block the moon's light from reaching them? This girl certainly has you know gas I written all over her. Reaction occurs long after an attack cliche. Good for comedic effect, but when did that happen? When he did his final attack just now, he still had some pants on. <laughs> I swear by this point in the movie, I'm thinking they originally intended to call it Fairy Tale Fanservice the Movie. Also, literally, just because they said something you considered to be mean to you about your magic, you've decided to wipe out the entire country? Makes sense? <laughs> so, to be clear, he buried these soldiers and then had the road paved back over? Just in case his enemy was ever on that specific road? <laughs> Wait a minute, just how bloody far away were they from each other when they had that conversation just now? Lushvi Britannia command you, now all of you, die! Masaka Tsui no chikara o tsukatte teki to tomo ni fuki tobasu to wada. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Diary of Future Love. Ten minute intervals? This nut job writes about me in her diary every ten minutes on the friggin' dot? Crazy stalker alert!
Reach the wizard. Reach the wizard. Reach the wizard.